Do you, you have a, something to input that is pertaining specifically to this? Yes. Um, I just wanted to say that um, no one is questioning what's in anybody's heart here. Or okay, that's not pertinent to the discussion of okay. increasing the budget. Well, it, it actually is pertinent. It is extremely pertinent. Um, there are 200 employees who think it very pertinent. And, and whatever the motivation, I think part of the concern is that you were presented a, a spending plan that got you to your goal. And it did it without balancing this budget on the back of the employees. And it was rejected. And that's why you're hearing this kind of response. That's why it doesn't feel like it was just how do we save money. It was how do we cut employees. Thank you. And so especially particular motions to reduce one salary. It's been <laughs> said previously a, a large number of times. Good. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Madam Chair. I, you know, we've been working on this budget for, for a lot of weeks right now. And we're ready to finally have a decision. What is it, five weeks, six weeks that we had? The people have had the budget. It's been out there. And I think it's just time to vote. Let's let's vote on the budget. Thank you. Yes, Madam Chair, I would respectfully request that uh, the Commissioner Philpott be allowed to speak because he's absolutely correct. We're operating out of ignorance, and I really request that his voice be added to this so we can do this intelligently. Thank you for that input, Representative. Uh, thank you, so, Madam Chair. Uh, I want to point out, uh, and I appreciate Representative uh, Hewitt's concern, but adding another uh, 125000 out of a fund balance. Remember what the fund balance is. That's reserves. That is our what the state calls a rainy day fund. And here we are at the beginning of the year saying, well, we don't have enough money, so we'll take reserves to to start the year and put it right in our operating budget. We're going to spend it. Prices are going up. Uh, they're going to continue. The, you know, the health care costs now uh, are going to be small compared with some of the things we're going to see uh, in the next couple of years. Uh, so fund balance. I took the commissioners at their word on the 10th of December that said, no, we can only afford to take Two million one hundred thousand. Uh, I accepted their comment uh, when they came back with, uh, you know, the quote balanced budget. Uh, they said, "Okay, we can take two point six million. Well, that's a half a million dollars just grabbing out of the county reserves. Uh, so, the proposal that we had, we voted on, was okay. We'll split the difference, not between us." between what the commission said in December and what the commission said in February. So uh, I think 2.375, that is taken out of our rainy day fund to fund budget. I don't want to take any more. But again, because the commission has told us not to. They explain quite a bit, because we challenged them right at the beginning. They explain. We've got a, a jail face in us in the future. Lots of money. Uh, that, we're going to be seeing. We're, we're still here next year. Okay, thank you. Um, which field to register? Okay, please. Thank you. When we did the subcommittees, when we started this whole process, the subcommittee chairman were told not to submit any of your issues that when we did the budget to submit them at all. So some of us did. The outside agency we submitted ours that night because it was kind of easy. But during the rest of the process it should have been submitted like normal procedures. Yep. And what I'm it's pretty please don't cut me off. I'm addressing this whole issue. It's pertaining to the budget. Everything we've done is pertaining to this budget that I've ever talked about. I've never <laughs> and, and and I think I've been around a long time with this process. I could care less what Hillsborough County or Rockingham County does. They're bigger than us. We are a small county and we're doing the best we can. But what I did here is I went to a few of the other subcommittees and when I went to administration, there was no vote. The chairman was told, don't submit anything until we get to the full delegation. 
which which he should have had a recommendation when he got here. I don't believe I heard a recommendation for the administration subcommittee at all until I came to the full delegation. And that should have been done in the process. And what I'm saying, and I'm trying to say without getting too excited about it, which I do sometimes, and after three tours of Vietnam, I don't think there's a whole lot anybody can do to me. But what I'm saying to you nicely is I've tried very hard. And when the commissioners, their office is here, nobody from a lot of subcommittees, I've been here and asked questions. Because sometimes I can't get answers from other people that I need them from. So I come here and try to weigh out both sides. It's very hard when there's three different budgets and I don't know which budget I'm working on. And tonight I come in here and, and I understand and, and I was away and, and I'm sorry that I was away, but I had to be away for a few things. And that was personal. And being that I've been through a lot this week and I don't want sympathy, I'm just saying I do appreciate the night that I found out you guys all did a thing for my dad. I appreciate that. So I've been to a lot and I've tried very hard to still stay in this process. And I love what I do. But I don't like this, and it started out when we had these little meetings that I couldn't feel comfortable with ending. And so I tried very hard to get answers and I didn't. You're off on a tangent. No, I'm not. That's not a tangent. I'm talking very nice to you right now, okay? But I take offense to the other side. I'm a Republican. I try to conserve too. And if you look at my record of conflict, I'm pretty conservative. I pay taxes just like the rest of you. I'm not here to be personal. And it got personal. And that's what I didn't like about this process. It got too personal when it began. And it shouldn't have. Thank you. And, and that's one other point. Every time somebody says something to you, you say, oh, thank you. No response from you at all as a chair. I have never seen you come into the commissioner's office to talk about the budget with them or even ask the staff you know what they feel all you've done is your own little point thing point of order. i'm tired to get point of order i had the okay. floor i That's had the floor and you're rude too well they're rude Rep too cutting in but it's your friend so you go with it oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Um, i don't want to belabor this <coughs> number one i don't think the fund balance is a rainy excuse day me fund. Turn around, okay, because why there's nothing uh, going on well, the, one, of, one of the things I'm addressing here so uh, is the status quo situation. If we simply pass the budget that, uh, uh, well, the one that uh, the chairman put out, the, the two of this one, the 23rd and every one of the 25th budget, they're both the same except for one small thing. But that's the one that sets forth what the, uh, uh, what the, reduction was $670,000 or something like that. That eliminates um, non-union people from receiving the uh, benefits because it cuts them all out. Nevertheless, uh, the contract that expired required certain benefits to be paid and the uh, status quo requires that they continue to be paid. So what we would wind up doing, we would wind up being in a situation where we might have to pay the union people uh, some benefits and not the other people. And I, I don't think that's fair. Uh, we should be in a position where we're going to treat everybody exactly the same. Uh, and you know, I, I don't address the issue of pay. If you want to uh, you know, level fund, pay line, those are, that's fine. I just don't want to take a chance of having to treat one class of employees differently from another class. Uh, and um, that I'll, I'll just leave it at that. Thank you. Thank you. If I might, my understanding of the motion on the floor is an increase to uh, Rep. Tilton's motion to increase the budget of 220,452, populating the sick bonus the longevity and the health insurance line increasing them by that amount his motion prohibits any movement from any line item within the budget or between departments so um, I'm, not, I, I, I'm not i'm not addressing that part of his motion all i'm doing is substituting numbers for the numbers that he has in the budget if you want to 
because then anybody can move them around. I no okay, that. I just I wanted to make it clear so that yeah. it was understood. If the pieces were understood, okay. So we currently have a motion on the floor. It has been amendment. seconded. I'm sorry. We now we currently have an amendment on the floor, which has now been seconded. It would increase the amount that Representative Tilton. Um, uh, indicated by two hundred and twenty-five thousand four hundred and twelve dollars. Um, Mr. Clerk, would you kindly call the roll? Uh, before I do that, Commissioner Thomas had his hand up for a long time. Are we about to listen to him? We listen to the rest of them. We are in the middle of a vote, sir. After this, we would be go on. Would you kindly call the roll, please? Madam Chair, can we get the intelligence before we exercise our intelligence? Please. Point of order. We have a motion, an amendment on the floor. We have had discussion, and um, Representative, would you kindly call the roll? Representative Arsenal? Yes. Representative Birchall? No. Representative Comitos? No. Representative uh, Comia? No. Representative DiMartino? <coughs> Representative Fios, yes. Representative Fink? No. Representative Flanders, absent still. Okay. Representative Greenmore? No. Representative uh, Gerlach? Yes. Pardon? Yes. Thank you. Representative Holmes? No. Representative Hewitt? Yes. Representative Luther? No. Representative Raymond? Yes. Representative Silver? No. Representative Tilton? No. Representative Barney? No. Representative Worsman? No. Okay. Eleven again to six. Okay, which brings us back to the original motion. We've had a motion and a second. Are we ready to vote on this budget? Further discussion between the delegation. Seeing none, yes. Yes. I just want to make sure that I'm clear on this before I vote. But all of these cost cost items are going to come from somewhere because the county is required to pay them. That's my understanding. And we're going to be voting on a budget without knowing where that money is actually coming from. Or we're either going to, it seems to me we have two options. We're either going to be taking money from another line item. To, to fund this, or we're going to be laying off employees, and I would like to know which it's going to be before I vote on it. My comment would be that's up to the commissioners. Thank motion. you. Thank I just want to make sure I get the next roll call right. Whose motion? Frank and Mary. I'm sorry. I just want to make sure it's for the record. Yes, please. I think that um, Representative Brandon makes a really good point. You just took the power from the commissioners to change any money from one line item to another. So you're actually taking it back for yourselves. And why not do that ahead of time instead of waiting for them to come? month after month as they try to figure out how they're going to allocate enough funds to pay the contracts that we're going to have to honor. Um, Rep. Gulick is next. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Um, Rep. Freemore and then Rep. Bell. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I just have one comment on this changing thing. If, if you set up a budget and you've done your budget homework and you put the line items as they are and you've got the line items correct, there shouldn't be much transfers anyway. So, you know, if, you, if you've done your work correctly, you, you should not have to move many funds. There may be occasional issues where you go to the, uh, that's why you have a contingency fund. The contingency fund 
fills in all of the, the holes that are done. But if you've got your, your payroll and all those items figured out correctly in the number of people, the only thing that should change that is if you change the payroll by adding more people. It's not the only thing. You could change it, which you did. You did. You okay. Did. You just okay. have one, million dollars excuse away me. From excuse me. This is not a free-for-all. Please, one at a time, please, one at a time through the chair, please. Crop TV.